Here are generally three steps you need to do in order to successfully hook up a delegate or conform to a protocol. The first thing you need to do is tell your delegate object or your view control in this case to adopt a protocol. A protocol is simply a list of methods. In our case, we're implementing the UI scroll view delegate protocol. So let's take a look at UI scroll view delegate in our documentation API. So I can go ahead and type in UI scroll view delegate and hit return here. And we see our UI scroll view delegate protocol reference. As we check out this set of methods here, responding to scrolling and dragging, managing zooming, and responding to scroll animations, we see that many of these names sound like things the scroll view does. For example, scroll view did scroll while my scroll view moved across the screen. Specifically, we want to take a look at the method view for zooming in scroll view. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And we see that ask the delegate for the view to scale when zooming is about to occur in the scroll view. We're definitely going to be implementing this method. So let's go back to our header file for the ow space image view controller.h file. And in order to conform to a protocol, we need to add a left angle bracket. And we can type UI scroll view delegate in and add a right angle bracket. And we do that after our at interface next to the UI view controller. Now, if I had multiple protocols I wanted to conform to, I could add commas and conform to a few. But we're going to do one for now just to keep this simple. Notice that it can go in either the .h file or we could also be doing this in the .m file as well. But I would encourage you to do this in the .h file for now. What is the difference between the two? Well, if you do it in the .m file, it'll be private. And if you do it in the .h file, it'll be public. So we're just going to make this public for now. And if you're just more on the difference between public and private, check out week two discussion video on the discussion between private and public methods. So we'll talk more about when you should put in the .m versus .h file later, but for now we can just drop it here. So what happens by conforming to this protocol? Well, this gives our view controller access to a list of methods that we looked at earlier inside of the UI scroll view delegate class. Now we need to implement the methods defined there and add our own logic in addition to the method declaration. So like we had the method self row at index path or number of rows in section, we're able to implement the methods we saw in the UI scroll view delegate. And when these methods get called, we can do some custom functionality. So let's go to the OW space image view controller.m class. We can scroll to the bottom here. And we're going to be implementing a new method. So we're going to do view. And we notice if we do subtraction sign and start typing in here, we get this autocomplete. And this is because we've conformed to the protocol. We get access to this method now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return here. And this is just kind of a quick way we can use to get access to our protocol methods so we don't have to memorize all these method names. Doing subtraction sign and starting with the correct letter, so no, having a vague idea about the method name, allowed us to quickly do an autofill for this very long method name. So we're going to have way more practice on this in the future. This is the first of many, many protocol uh, protocols we're going to be conforming to and delegate methods that we're going to be implementing. So how do we properly implement this method? Well, we know we need to return an instance of UI view here. And we, it says that the method name is view for zooming in scroll view. So it's basically asking which view should we zoom in on? Well, we know that we have an image view, which is a type of UI view. So we can actually return that image view. We can type return self.imageView. Now, lastly, we need to actually set up our view controller as our UI scroll views delegate. When do we do this and where do we do this? Well, we can do this in the view did load method. I'm not in view did load. And we can simply type self.scrollView.delegate is equal to self. 
So one way we can think about what's going on here is scroll view has a property called delegate. And when we set this equal to ourself, we're saying register me, specifically this view controller, to listen to events from my scroll view. So when things occur on the scroll view, for example, we start scrolling or we pinch or whatever, we're able to listen to these events and the UI scroll view delegate class can call the method view for zooming and scroll view dynamically when we start trying to zoom into our application. So again, we'll keep seeing this over and over again. So with time, uh, this will start to make sense. But for now, we're just going to run our application. And let's try zooming in here. So we're going to hold down the Alt key and try zooming. Well, this doesn't work. And that's because we forgot one final step. So if we go back into view to the load, we need to make sure that our max and our min zoom scales are not the same thing. So let's make them different. We can type self dot scroll view dot maximum zoom scale is equal to 2.0. And we can also set our minimum zoom scale. So we can say self dot scroll view dot minimum zoom scale is equal to 0 0.5. And now if we run our application again, and let's select a cell and hold down the Alt key. We see that we can now zoom in and out of our scroll view.